everyone and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time on my channel, um, my name is Natasha. I am married to my husband Rich who is in the armed forces and we have two children together, Elise who is five and Charlie who is two and a half. Um, so that kind of might give you an insight as to why I've done this video uh, from the title and it's me saying that my husband is in uh, military armed forces depending on where you are what you might call it he is currently deployed overseas for a number of months and we are a couple of weeks in and we're doing okay um it was a bit hard the first week but we're way into the second week now um almost going into the third week and we seem to be getting a nice little routine going um but obviously deployment and being away from a parent for quite a while can have quite an effect on children and especially military children it's something that is part of their lives and they have to get you know used to it and find ways of dealing with it so after speaking with friends who have done long deployments with children um, as this is the first one that we have done since we've had children we've done many before and I've you know it's different when you're on your own um, but with the children I wasn't quite sure on how to approach it to them um, and how to kind of explain it and comfort them when they're sad. Charlie is at that age where he doesn't really understand if he asks where daddy is and I tell him it's at work, that's good enough for him. But at least being coming up for five and a half, she does understand that daddy um, isn't around and um, is away from you know for work so yeah after speaking with friends um, having a look online and coming up with a few of our own ideas that we think would be good for our children we put together sort of like a deployment kind of hamper um, with just things that can comfort them make them understand and just try and make the whole thing a little bit more positive than it is because let's face it it's pretty crap it's not ideal um, but these things that I've got could uh, you know they're not just for military families um if you've got you know partner mum or dad that works away quite a lot for work you know there's plenty of jobs in the world my dad used to work away quite a lot uh, for weeks months at a time so these things as well could work for your children if they find it quite hard when mummy or daddy is away for work depending on who it is so i'm just going to get stuck right in with what we have done for our children the first thing um i purchased was a cloud pet so i've got two of them so this is the unicorn for elise and we got the dog pretty sure it's a dog dog for charlie i think they are um, an american based company i will pop a link to the youtube video that's basically the advert advert sorry for it in the description box below but basically it is a teddy bear that works with an app on your phone it's completely free to download this app it's just cloud pets um, and it basically allows you to record messages and send them to your children um, and it works from app to app so for example rich has the app i have the app you can have i think up to about six cloud pets on one app so they both the children have got their own profile and yeah rich will record a message it will come through on my phone like a normal text message and then i actually bluetooth the message to the pet so when the child gets a message, um, you have to have your phone near you. Um, it works on Android and Apple um, devices. So the little heart will flash when the child has a message. And when they have a message, they just press the blue button um, and their message will be played. So um, yeah, it's really, really good. I'll give it a little click. It's night night time now. So ready, Elise? Noses, chins, kiss. Cuddle, squeeze, night, love you lots. So that is something that they always do at night. They say night to each other and do kiss, cuddle, hug, squeeze. And there's also a little red button on there, which as long as your phone is near the cloud pet when your child does it, they can squeeze it once, talk to the cloud pet and record their own message for them and then click it again when it's done. It will come through on your phone that the child has recorded a message and then you can send it to um, the you know their dad mum whoever but again it's not just for something for you know military children if you've got family that live abroad um, or even just live you know other side of the country you don't get to see the children that often um, it is really nice comfort for them and the kids have absolutely loved it we actually bulk recorded some messages just in case rich couldn't get on um, excuse me on wi-fi um, and i've been playing them that they've got morning messages after school messages evening messages and this has been the 
biggest hit. So I would really recommend Cloud Pets. I got them from the shop The Entertainer, but you can get them on eBay, Amazon, um, and I think uh, definitely in America. But in the UK, that's where I got mine from, which was The Entertainer. The next thing that was really recommended um, by a lot of my friends that have done, you know, deployments with children is to do a countdown sweetie jar. It helps them understand, um, you know, how long they've got left till daddy's home. Um, and what kid doesn't like sweets so we have already got two weeks worth out of this jar so it still does look like quite a lot unfortunately but I basically just filled up two little kilner jars and um, put labels on them and got a mixture of sort of smarties jelly tots mini eggs and they basically just get one a day and you know they think it's exciting they've both got one each and yeah like I said what kid doesn't like sweets and you know I've explained to them when the jar's empty that means daddy's home so kind of a win-win and they get excited that they get to pick a sweet every day so the next thing was actually something that my cousin really kindly sent um, the children uh, they are my dad's deployment um, activity and reunion book which is really really sweet um, yeah like a little kind of there's things in there like activities to do before they go whilst they're away planning their homecoming tries to explain to them how they might be feeling they can convey how they're feeling in the book um it is kind of quite american um, i'm not sure where she got them from if you are interested in this book um leave a comment below and i can find out where she got them from but yeah inside there's all um connect the dots of the um sort of uh form of transport they might be on there is uh, in the center I'm trying to find it where's it gone there's all different things you can um like activities there's coloring ones there's um planning uh, ways to welcome dad home like buy presents make a banner fly the flag um you know tidy your room we'll definitely be doing that one um but yeah there's a big world map in the center of the book i really want to find it so especially if your partner their dad is in different parts of the world you can kind of keep track with them where they are which is really really nice um oh, it's really annoying me that i can't find it it's in the center of the book <laughs> i should have folded it down and been a bit more organized um but yeah if I can't find it, I'm really sorry. But yeah, there's lots of different things. There's um, like bits that they can write what they've been doing, things to tell dad. Um, we've also got a little box that my kids have been drawing pictures and writing notes. And we will be sending some of them to him. But, you know, some things it'll be nice to uh, kind of give to him when he's home. So, um, yeah, this has really, really been nice. The kids have been doing all the activities in it. I'm still finding this flipping map. Oh, here we go. It wasn't in the centre of the book. So, yeah, there's a nice world map. Um, we haven't started filling it out yet, and it's, so it's okay to show you, um, as I don't really want to put where about the is. But, um, yeah, it just says to draw a heart um, wherever they are in the world. So I think that's really nice, and they can kind of understand where Daddy is. And, um, yeah, there's all, you know, we sleep under the same moon and the same stars, learn Dad's alphabet, like the military alphabet, so that's really nice. Um, there's crosswords to do, um, when I feel sad I can do these things, when I feel angry, when I feel happy, um, make a wish, things to tell dad, messages from home, um, do a photo collage, so yeah it's just a really nice way of keeping them active, um, something for them to focus on and then something nice for daddy to see when he comes home. And last but by no means least, probably the thing that um got a lot of love on my instagram and facebook which is these recorded stories um by storybook waves so i do believe that this is um something that's armed forces um based it's um under the armed forces covenant if you're a military family you will understand what that means especially if you're in the uk and basically it's something that my husband did on camp he went in and recorded stories and then they're all edited professionally so it's got all sound effects and music on it and he did three stories for them he's done stick man they tend to be Ju uh, julia donaldson stories so he's done stick man for christmas which they haven't had yet um elise has had the gruffalo's child and charlie has had charlie cooks 
favourite book. And it's just really nice, they get to hear Daddy's voice. So it's me reading a story every night, I just pop the CD in and they get to listen to him, which is really nice. And they also got, so got little medals um, that say Aggie's Heroes on them. So they like to wear them and for, you know, like their daddy with their little medals and stuff. But um, yeah, these are really, really good. If um, you can, I will leave a link to their website and their Facebook page in the description box below. But if you, um, I'm sure if you're not military, uh, there will be companies that you, that again, can do these types of things. But um, it's free to do if you're in the forces. Um, just, I think if you contact like your welfare department at camp, they should be able to organise or at least put you in the right direction for somebody. But like I said, I will leave the link to um, their website and you can contact them yourselves and they'll be helpful to tell you how to do it. So yeah, that is everything that we have been doing to kind of help our children um, during these months that he is away. If you are a military family and you've got small children, I'd love to hear how you get them through deployment, what um, you think I could be doing that I'm not doing. Um, and yeah, I'd love to know because it's not easy, it's not ideal and it's not fun. Um, but we've got a lovely big holiday to look forward to when he gets home. So that again, it plans some sort of event or something you're going to do. So whenever your children get sad, you can say, well, look, you know, when daddy gets home, we're going to be doing this. So yeah, that would be another thing. Plan a holiday or something that will get you through. Because I know that's what's getting me through the thought of laying on a beach and sipping a cocktail. So yeah. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this. Um, please share it with anyone that you know that it might help or benefit. I'd love to hear from you. Um, please leave me a comment below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me. It's completely free to do. So give this video a big thumbs up if you've liked it. And I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.